we are walking out to the Fisherman and Taglio out here north of Port Site. Nice little walk up here, probably a quarter of a mile or so, maybe a half mile. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. It's December 1st, 2020. And it's a nice hike out here. And of course, out here in the desert, you know, you get all the different cactuses. Well, here's these nasty little choya. Oh, look, there's your baby. Oh my God, look at that, a little one. Look oh at them all gosh. out here. Look at all the choya. Stay away from the choya. They're called the jumping cactus. Because if you just brush against them, you get a whole bunch of them stuck in you. It's no fun. Then we've got Ocotillo out here too. Here's an Ocotillo. They always look dead in the winter time. Spring and summer they leaf out. And they have flowers. We are on our way up to the Fisherman in Taglio and they have a plaque here talking about it. Here's what we're gonna go see. We've made it to the Fisherman in Taglio. He's pretty well faded over the years here, but we'll get the drone up over him and see what we can see with the drone. There's another plaque here. Shows what it originally looked like. What we should be looking for. A couple of fish right down here on the ground. You really can't see him anymore. You can hardly see him. We're done with the fishman and taglio we're heading back to the car it's a nice easy walk about a half mile probably back here on this gravel road this is the biggest hill you have here to go up and down so that was that now we're on our way to quartzite today is december 1st 2020 it's about 11 o'clock in the morning. It's about 61 degrees outside. We're up here on Plamosa Road, north of Quartzsite. And uh, it's amazing what you come across here in these areas out here in the desert. Here's Quinn Pass. There's a little history about Thomas P. Quinn, born in 1869 in New Jersey. He had a mine near here and dug a cistern to catch water. He built a house just north of this sign and lived there until old age forced him to move to Baus. The remains of his cistern survive and serve travelers for many years after his passing. We're going to go up here and see if we can't locate that cistern. I have no idea where it's at, but uh, let's go see what we can find here. Maybe even fly the drone a little bit. I don't know. We'll see.
this blithe intaglio appears to be male and uh, the only one that was ever made with a palace. Can't see much here on the ground level. The wind's blowing pretty good. I'm gonna try my drone here. There are two intaglios here in this area. The one right over there, and this one's just right over here. This is the horse. crazy up here. This is the third intaglio here in Blythe. It's a human figure. I don't know if we can see from here on the ground. We'll walk around to the other side. Today we're going to stop at the Parker Dam here in Parker, Arizona. Boy, Ooh, they make sure nobody in big oh. trucks are going to come through here, don't they? We're going to park right here. Walk. We're going to walk out on the dam. Oh. Here we are at the Parker Dam and of course the wind is blowing. Nice little dam here. Holds back the Colorado River and a power generation station. Well, I was going to walk across the bridge, but they have this big sign here that says no pedestrians beyond this point. 